Hi, this is Mark Burnett, and a question came up about the MX-1000 Logitech mouse. Old mouse, been around quite a long time, and I did a video on it, got over 100,000 views, and the uh, question came in, they can't get it to work on Windows 10. And that would make sense a lot of times because these manufacturers no longer make drivers for uh, older products. It's not worth it to them, they're not in the software business, they're in the hardware business in that case. Uh, so making it compatible with Windows 10 just doesn't make sense. However, it is compatible with Windows 10. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's actually pretty easy. It looks like the software manufacturer did take into account uh, that people still have this mouse. Um, and the person who wrote in said they were unable to get the drivers working and stuff. Well, actually, I didn't go for any drivers. I went for the software, not the drivers. Okay, the software is what's going to bring up uh, your uh, menu to modify the keys which this particular uh, person wants to do uh, and, and they like this mouse because it is a very large mouse um, made a number of years ago uh, it has a nice uh, feel to it but a lot of people don't like it uh, but however those who do like it especially those people with carpal tunnel syndrome or something like that find this to be a very nice mouse okay and this one's so new I mean even the even the the brass uh, charger points here aren't even worn off. A lot of times these get worn off and it won't charge anymore. There's a trick to do that. You just lick your finger, put it on both of these contacts. Yeah, I know. Put it in and it'll charge every time. It's a simple trick to fix that. You can fix the pads if you want. Um, but what you do is you go over to, in Windows 10, we're in Windows 10. As you can see here, if you're not familiar with Windows 10, that's what it looks like. Kind of 7 and 8 combined. Uh, to make 10. Uh, Microsoft's math. Uh, now what, what happens is when you do a search for this you, you want to look for um, the MX1000. Uh, I did this before. I actually went through and tested all this. It actually worked. And it'll come up and you will get the uh, MX, uh, if you do through Google, the MX1000 uh, laser cordless mouse software. And I put in software this mouse support, I do not want the drivers, you'll get a ton of listings up here for drivers that will give you uh, viruses and everything else. Just make sure you're at Logitech's support, that's where you want to be. And when you click on that, you're actually going to get here uh, and they have a nice area for their software. And again, I'm not worried about the drivers because Windows 10 will figure out the drivers on the mouse and give you left and right clicks. What you want, what you're trying to get is those clicks. Uh, so that you can modify all the keys on here and all the buttons and stuff like that. Uh, so once you're in here, okay, uh, you can scroll down and you'll see a choice. And they actually have Windows 10 listed. They ask, choose your OS. A lot of times they don't, and you can use Windows 8 if you want to. Uh, that'll work for 10 a lot of times, but in this case they actually have 10. So you take 10, and you can do the smart installer. I had no good luck with that at all. Didn't work. Um, didn't function the way I thought it would so I took the full installer 64-bit I picked that and when I picked that because 64-bit is going to be your Windows 10 more than likely I don't think they even make a 32-bit one um, it's going to download and it's going to be good size this one already downloaded once so it's got a number one beside it and when this downloads it's got six seconds left here and now seven and eight seconds, so it's taking a little longer. It's it's 77 megabyte size file, by the way. That's the one you want. And I have a dog right now in the background making noise. Uh, to get her to stop. Okay, and once you've got that downloaded, you click on it. It should come up in the background. Here we go. It's going to ask us uh, user control to make sure that you know it's safe. Not that when you get a virus, it actually doesn't ask that question. It's kind of cute. Uh, and then it comes up here and uh, welcome to Setpoint. And Setpoint is the software we want. This is 6.67 version. I'm sure they'll come out with some newer ones as you use this. Okay. And again, we're installing this is like a I don't know 10 year old mouse something in that category. Uh, we're going to go ahead and install it again. It shouldn't mess me up. Hopefully. And it's going to take several minutes here. But again, 
I want to emphasize we're getting the software comport a portion of this. We're not worried about the um, drivers. Uh, a lot of times the drivers are, are, are in the software already uh, or Microsoft will take care of them anyway and all you're really trying to do is get to control these buttons and reset them. And that's what, again, this individual wants to do. They want to be able to control these side buttons, the scroll buttons, and, and format it in their, in their way, 10-year-old mouse on Windows 10 on the latest version of Windows which will actually be the only version of Windows if they stick with it. Windows 10 will only get upgraded and there won't be another version. Yeah, I know that sounds right. You can also get the extension to make it sit, scroll better in uh, Google if you want. And when you're finished, and we're going to close this. Okay, now if we just take this, this mouse, uh, turn it on, put it over, see if we can get it working. Oh, <laughs> that part would help. Oh, don't plug in the USB until you install the software, number one. Otherwise, it will install drivers. You don't want to do that. And that may not help you at all. Okay. So, I'm going to put this in. That would help. Okay. There we go. So, this mouse is working. Okay. Now, that's all good and well. But it's not exactly what the person wanted. They wanted to be able to control the mouse. So, if you go over here, it actually it will have installed... The MX-1000 laser mouse battery full, it's already reporting battery full, and it's got an icon there. It just went away. And we pop it up. Oops. You can click happy here. Okay, uh, mouse and keyboard settings. And that is where the person wants to get to. That is the controls. So you can get in here and you can change your left click, right click, zoom, everything. You make it do whatever you want to do. These are all your settings for your mouse and answers the question of what that particular person wanted to do with their with their mouse. Um, now let me get, um, if, if this is an old mouse, these are like $80 or $150 uh, in that category. You can still find some new out there. Most are used up on eBay and places like that in Hong Kong um, if you like this particular mouse. It is really a cool mouse they just didn't make anymore. Um, nothing like it actually out there. And that's why people like it. It's own little charging station there. Let me get another one here. It'll hold there a minute. Keep an eye on that mouse. This is another mouse. This is an eBlue, uh, which I like. Um, also, uh, although I've used this one for a long time, you can see these are kind of similar in some ways. They don't have this big area out here. You can see that it's a little different. It's a little bit smaller mouse. It's got the colors. It's a gaming mouse, so you got all these colors and stuff like that on it. But the cool thing about that, if I pop it up and it'll come on here, hopefully. I may have disturbed it when I put the other one on. Probably did, because that one's taking control. So let me take this one over. And I'll go to its driver. This is the eBlue driver. So this this one will drive this one, okay? And if I unplug that, it'll switch back over. Uh, this also has a lot of functionality to it. Uh, I have to use the MX to actually get through it. But you can see all the different settings you can set for each mouse key. So this is this huge amount of settings, okay? You can do for every every component on here, okay? And that's kind of neat. You also have profile settings. You can set up different profiles. So two different mice. About 10 years apart. Uh, this one's available up on Amazon. This one probably on eBay if you can find them, if you've already got one, as this person has got a few of them uh, because they want to use it uh, for their medical condition. Um, you can, of course, get to the menu you need to get to to make it work. So that's Mark Burnett, update on the MX1000, and uh, over 100,000 views on that. Uh, really impressed. People like it. So hopefully you enjoy this video too. Thank you.